Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. And uh, for the month of January in 2022, we had 890 salvations. So that's a great start to the new year, uh, big time results. And uh, there were actually a lot of um, obstacles in January. And so we ended the year on quite a high note where we were setting records in attendances and salvations. But then in January, the government actually became very strict with uh, the rising cases of Omicron and uh, COVID. And actually, one of the things they did was install a no vax, no ride policy, where if you have not been vaccinated, you can't ride any public transportation. Obviously, that's a big obstacle when you're trying to come to church. But even with people go trying to go to grocery stores and their basic necessities, it's very difficult. Now, the government has eased those restrictions and we're entering February and uh, things have really kind of calmed down quite a bit here in February. So we, we believe we're gonna have better results next month and uh, our attendances at church the last couple weeks have been great, which kind of shows they've already eased these restrictions. But there's definitely still obstacles here and we would always ask you to pray for the Philippines itself because the Philippines has been an extremely strict country and uh, we're seeing a lot of countries around the world that are easing restrictions and life is not too difficult there. We're hoping it's gonna be the same thing here, but we're not really sure because it has been a very strict country. But overall, you know, praise the Lord for 890 salvations. And uh, we actually have, we've already done one soul winning marathon in February, which I'll update you on next uh, missionary update. And we have another one later on this month. So we're expecting a big month here in February. And as I said, attendances have been going great. And so, um, outside of that, you know, our big fellowship activity for the month of February, or January, I should say, was we had a chess tournament at church. And so the end of the year is our busiest time because we have our Kids Day event, which is sort of a replacement for uh, Halloween or, or All Saints Day. Then we have our church anniversaries in November. Then in December, we have obviously the Christmas season and New Year's. So it's really packed. So it's a bit of a lighter month here in January for us. But uh, the chess tournament was the big um, uh, uh, fellowship activity that we did. And we have a lot of people at our church that like to play chess. We actually started playing on Thursdays for fun and um, online. And we do different lengths of games depending on what we're preparing for. So we basically had a five minute chess tournament. It was uh, blitz mode. And we had a lot of people from our church that uh, competed in it. And it was open to everybody, kids, um, adults, uh, men, women. And uh, Sister Karina from our church won that tournament, and we all had a great time. There's a lot of good players at our church that enjoy playing. And so I would say if you're an online listener and uh, you're from the Philippines or you're an OFW, uh, the time might work for you on Thursday nights if you want to join our kind of chess group. That would be great. And we're actually preparing for a 15-minute tournament um, later on. So that's kind of the big activity that we were doing. Um, in terms of how our churches are going, as I said, things have been going very well overall. Um, our attendances have been increasing. Our Bible study fellowships are doing great. We're going to be having some really exciting news for our ministry in Beacle coming up next month. In terms of sermons being preached, um, we're still going through the book of Genesis on Tuesdays. And um, I'm going through the book of Daniel now instead of the book of Psalms on Sundays, Saturdays and Sundays and also our false philosophy series. So those are kind of the updates. As I said, things are going very well at our church and restrictions have been eased. And we just ask you to continue to pray for our church that we'll be able to do a great work here. And anyways, thank you and God bless.